Alright. Hey guys, what is up? Uh, today I'm going to show you guys how to uh, download and install Crowd Control um, and play with the B SNES uh, core. So here we go. Um, so yeah. So Crowd Control here is this interactive um, craziness uh, that allows you to have viewers from your Twitch channel influence how your game is affected as you stream. Um, it's really cool. Uh, I'll put their download link inside or in the description. Um, but here it is right here. Uh, you can grab it later um, and you can download Crowd Control. Um, when you sign in, it's going to ask you some stuff. Uh, so like, so yeah, this is it loaded right here. So the first thing you'll notice is it's got all these games loaded in it, but you can't really do anything with them until you configure it. So when you configure it, you've got to tell, you've got to tell the program a few things you have to give the path to your game you also have to um download and install bizhawk but you have to make sure that you have the right core so um let's just go through that really fast so if you go to uh this site here this is this is github slash task videos slash bizhawk slash releases uh, if you go to the zip file here this will allow you to download bizhawk and what will happen is when you download and install bizhawk um, you'll get this fancy you'll get this fancy bizhawk 2.3 directory and inside you'll get um, a couple programs. The important one that we want to see is EmuHawk. And I, Disco Hawk might be important, but not really. I don't know. Um, but you'll notice um, there's this other folder called Liberto. Librito? Yeah, Librito. And inside you'll see cores. And then what I've done is I've downloaded um, BSNES. Oh, I. I also have BNES. I don't know what that is, but anyway, uh, there's BSNES accuracy, BSNES balanced, BSNES performance. I'm not sure which core we're actually using, um, but if you want to get those, which you'll need, you'll need one of them. Uh, there's this link right here. This is buildbot.librito.com slash nightly slash windows x86 underscore 64 latest. And if we go to name, um, you'll see there is BSNES accuracy, BSNES balanced, um, BSNES C++, Mercury, some other stuff, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, the ones that we're interested in are um, performance, balance, and accuracy. You need one of those, I'm not sure which one it is. So once you have all of that information downloaded, um, you will be able to go to crowd control and when it says browse you'll um, find where you put your um, yeah this is wrong yeah find where you put your program and select that folder it only asks for you to find that folder it doesn't ask for you to find that actual um the actual program that you're using and then because the program is already you have the cores to that program when you run this from um when you run this from crowd control it'll already be there the other thing you need to do is tell the program where your ROMs are. So I have a, so inside here, there's a folder called SNES, and I just put my Mega Man X and my Super Metroid uh, ROMs in here. 
um, you can put them anywhere. They don't have to be there. But then once that is done and you go back to game selection. So I have a Mega Man X and a Super Metroid game, but those are the only two I have. So let's go to Mega Man X. And from here, you want to select Lua and then you just click start. And this will take a second, but Oh, I'm sorry. There's one more thing you gotta do. You gotta click this launch BizHawk once you start it. So it'll it'll launch BizHawk eventually. Okay, there we go. And two windows will pop up. You'll see this um, Lua console with this con uh, script connector. And then you'll see this window here that'll start the emulator. And um, we can see that um, certain thing, you can test it um, by going to the effect list and so let me let me bring this back up um, so we can start a game really fast blah blah okay so here I've got two lives I'm gonna click the give lives let's give one life and then if we go back We'll see. Okay. That didn't work exactly. Maybe because it wasn't running? Let me try this again. Oh, you know what? It might be because... Oh no, okay, there we go. Okay, so it did, it did do it, it just had to catch up a little bit because yeah, there's my other one right there. So two lives were given there. Or I could do give sub tank. And do this. And I've got two sub tanks because I hit it twice. So yeah, that's really all there is to it. And then when you're done, you can just go back to game selection and then you hit stop, hit okay and then that'll close out your window and then that's it that's crowd control so yeah like i said i'll put these um i'll put these links in the description uh that way you know how to get them and everything like that and that'll be that um okay so cool uh enjoy and go play some crowd control all right thanks everybody